Hi, and I'm going to show you some things that inspire me. Sometimes I'm inspired by movies. Sometimes music and media and of course reality and all that good jazz but in this tutorial I'm going to be coming from a magazine a picture a random picture in a magazine and I chose Jill Scott and I want you to look at her features because this is going to be a memory tutorial so I'm going to memorize her and just put her aside And usually I draw with a pen, um, but since you can't see the pen, I'm going to draw with the marker. Yet I will draw the outline of her face with a pen. Now this is how I see a face when I draw it. I don't usually do the T, but I'm going to do it just so you can see how I see the face when I initially draw it. Now, the horizontal part of the T is where her eyes will be. And the vertical part is the alignment of the forehead, the nose, and the chin, and the lips. So that's how I see a face before I draw it. Um, I drew her eyes first because usually that's how I draw. I draw eyes first. Some people like to draw the outline of the face, but I prefer eyes. Now sometimes I will draw the outline of the face, but usually I like drawing the eyes first. You don't have to. That's what I like doing. And I remember her eyes were very dark in the sense where she had a lot of makeup. So that's why I'm emphasizing put a lot of emphasis on her eyes. And I remember her eyebrows. They were very arched. It's very important to learn people's eyebrows because that actually frames her face. And you learn that while doing makeup, too. Um, I remember her nose. It was very delicate, like a teddy bear. It was really cute. Um, I remember her lips were real soft. I had light makeup on, so I really couldn't get the fullness of the lips. Or, you know, I really couldn't see the lips. And if it was full or thin, I really wasn't paying attention. But I do remember the hair, too. I remember it was full at the top. Now, I don't remember the cut. But I remember the shape. I remember she had a lot at the top. And the sides were very short because I, I didn't see any hair on the sides. So that's why I'm drawing the shape. And don't worry about the rugged edges. Just focus on getting shapes down. Shapes are very important when you're drawing. Angles and all that is very important. Now I'm defining her chin more because I remember her jaw bones defined. I remember her chin had an indention in it. It was really, it was really cute. And I remember her earrings. They're big and circular. I don't remember the designs, but I just remember it, um, it covered a large portion of her neck and her collarbone. Now, I remember her hand by her face, but I'm not going to draw her hand by her face because this is not going to be a very detailed drawing. But I remember her outfit was sophisticated, and I don't remember the exact design of her outfit. But suits represent sophistication to me, so that's why I drew her in a suit. And again, I'm just going over my drawings. Now, you could compare her photograph with my drawing. Just, you know, alternate back and forth. And that's what I remember. Hope this helps.